good to come back to uh, Goodman Engineering. I think it was about two years ago we last visited you. You've grown, not you personally, but the company has since then. Uh, for those that didn't see the first video, tell us a little bit about your company. Uh, we started eight years ago. Um, we've just slowly grown ever since. Uh, we've now got nine CNC machines, most of them are five axis. You've pretty much filled this unit now, haven't you? Are you looking to move? Yes, we are. Yeah, we're looking at the moment at new premises and then also hopefully after that more machines. What's behind your success? What, are you, what work are you doing? Uh, it's mainly Formula One. I have a, you know, a long history in Formula One uh, ma manufacturing and so that, that, that's the main That's a pretty hard market though, isn't it? Pretty um, you know, demanding industry to work with. Yeah, it's only getting more difficult. The components only get more uh, difficult to make. So, uh, yeah. And, and you say you're growing, the business is growing. Is that as a result of that industry or you're moving into uh, other sectors as well? Oh yeah, we're definitely moving into other stuff. We're doing a little bit more production, going to making PPAP components for production cars, the cars that are gonna go on the road. So that, that's uh, one area we're moving into, which is why we have to keep our investment up to have accurate machines to be able to make those kind of components. Uh, when we were last here, we were looking at the two Quasar installations from uh, ETG that were five axis machines. Uh, today, we're here to look at the MV184 three axis. We talk a lot about their machines, and in fact, one company I was in a few weeks ago said that they'd never had to have a service engineer on the Quasar machines in about five years. Oh, would, right. you, would you say that that's a, a similar story here? Yes, I mean, that is one of the reasons why we're buying them at the moment, is because we believe they have a very good reliability. Uh, what about the value for money? Is that as a result of that or part of that? It's definitely part of that, yeah. yeah. And this machine is a three axis. Why the change in direction? Why not just go for another five, Mark? Well, we're replacing a three axis in this instance, but this machine actually we put five axis boards on as well. So, and we've got a, a, a table, five axis table, that's gonna go on the machine as well. So it's actually being able to be used three axis and five axis. So give you more flexibility. When you talk about value for money then and reliability, um, it might sound an obvious question because you just want the machine to keep going, but what, what do you think is behind that uh, on the Quasar machine? What makes it be able to uh, deliver? I think it's because of its history, where it's coming from, um, I think the design has got very good rigidity put into it. And, and so uh, you're not paying a huge amount of money for a quality machine. Is, is there any work you wouldn't do on it? Do you do, are you machining um, pretty t sort of tricky materials as well? Uh, actually, we use them mainly for machining titanium, heat treated titanium, uh, steels. That, out of all the machines we've got, we tend to put those kind of components on quasar machines because they are a good rigid machine. But will you be chasing quite tight tolerances with that type of work as well? Oh yes, yeah, definitely yes. Uh, Reliability is one thing as well, Mark, but what about speed, the overall delivery of the components off the machine? Oh yeah, um, they, they compare well with the other machine tools that you can buy and they compare very well within the, within the price range that they are. And when you, do you get them specced up? I know you said you've got a five axis table, but do you go for, you know, through spindle coolant oh, yeah. uh, or do all these things come as a, a standard with the Quasar from ETG? Um, I think most of those things come as standard. Uh, we don't have to go for a too high a, a spec of speed of spindle because we, we're aiming to mainly machine steels and titaniums on them, which are all going to be at reasonably low speeds. So they can still machine aluminium okay, there's nothing wrong with that, but we tend to mainly machine steels with them. Are these machines, these Quasar machines, going to play a big part in the growth of your company going forward? Having just replaced another machine with a, another Quasar, is that likely to be a, a theme running throughout the company as you go forward? Definitely, yeah.